Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Paige. We're super excited because one of our tortoises laid, laid eggs. eggs. So stick around, we're gonna dig them up. Let's go. This is Ethel and she is the girl who just laid her eggs. So we are going to dig her eggs up right now. Yep, yep. let's do it. So Ethel is a Holmes Hinchback. She's from West Africa, and she was actually imported as a wild animal from Africa. We've had her since 2018, but she was with the Turtle Survival Alliance beginning in 2014. And look at that, guys. Right away, we have a Holmes Hingeback tortoise egg. So Ethel is very, very special to us because we set a goal this year to get eggs and babies from Ethel. I've only ever hatched two of her babies. So she's very, very important for our work with hinchback tortoises to make sure that we are producing many different. There we go, there's another egg. Many different genetic pairs. So how many eggs do you think we're gonna get? I don't know. There we are at the bottom. Maybe there's one more. Oh, yep, there's one more over here. Oh, no, there's two more over there at least. Now what's really cool is that we live streamed her <coughs> laying all these eggs. And so what we'll do is put that end of this video so you can actually go watch and see what it is like. Tortoise eggs look like big shiny turtles. Oh, we have one more. So I think we have four eggs. How awesome is this? We're gonna incubate these and hopefully in about 180 <coughs> days, we will have... Baby tortoises. Baby tortoises, Let's that's right. For one more. So I'm just gonna excavate the entire area. Fortunately, these guys don't lay their eggs very deep. So, do you have a tortoise? Has your tortoise ever laid eggs? Have you ever hatched a tortoise? Let us know. Super, super exciting. Uh, we've had many. Um, we have two different types of pinchback tortoises and we've hatched dozens and dozens of eggs. Now that egg is quite dirty. We have the homeless pinchback and we have the... Western pinchback. We have the homes and westerns. Yep. So just kind of brush this off. I'll get the container. Incubation. We love to use this product called Hatchrite. We've had a great amount of success. Hatchrite is a mixture of perlite and some polymer water crystals. If, you, if your kids have Orbeez, it's just like little tiny Orbeez. We put about two inches. We are putting the eggs in very carefully. Now, I am old enough now to do it, but five is not enough. Six is okay if your kids are very gentle. So there we go, tortoise egg. Okay, the last step is to mark the top of the egg. Once tortoise eggs start developing, they absolutely cannot be turned or you will likely kill the little baby embryo. That is very different from chicken eggs. So what we do is put the date that we start incubating and the mom, and that's E.T. Oh man, we are so excited to have these eggs from Ethel. This is our second bloodline. We need more from this girl. I usually miss them. So it is just amazing to be here with these eggs. I really wish we got more of them from her. We have two incubators set up a warm incubator for the other species and a cool incubator for the homiana. What we are trying to do is produce males so we have the temperature quite low at 76 degrees. We've got one container in there already. We will add this second container 
and then we will go congratulate Ethel on a job well done. Congratulations, Ethel. I'm so proud of you. Good job, Ethel. In 180 days, hopefully, we'll meet some of your babies. If you have a turtle or tortoise, be sure to tell us about them in the comments. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's another great video that shows Ethel laying her eggs live.